what's up guys and welcome back to overkill gaming your home for high-end gaming whether it's pc ps5 or handheld we got you covered we're back with another banging how-to video for the steam deck and for those of you who are fans of overwatch you're gonna love this today we're gonna show you how to play overwatch in steam os on battle.net and it's really simple, straightforward process. You follow along with me, you'll be up and running in no time. Before we get started, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't wanna miss out on any of it. All right, let's hop on in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go into desktop mode on the Steam OS, and we're gonna go to discover apps, and we're gonna search for an app called Bottles. This is a application that's gonna allow us to run some Windows software. And we're gonna install it, and once it's done installing, we're just gonna launch it and complete the setup. And I apologize for the brightness. We'll, I'll go ahead and switch on over to dark mode here in just a moment. So we'll just complete the setup here. All right. Once that's done, we're going to go over here to where it says bottles and we're going to create a new bottle. We're going to select gaming, give the bottle a name. I just named mine games and then we'll click on this button here that says create. And then it's going to start creating the bottle. And this, this part of the process here could take about 10 minutes or so. All right, so our bottle is now created. We're gonna go through over here to where it shows the three lines, click on preferences, and then we're gonna click on runners, and we're gonna download Cafe 7.18. Once this is done downloading, we'll switch to dark mode so you can see it better. All right, so it's done downloading now. We go, I'm just gonna go over here and switch to dark mode real quick. All right, much better. All right, so you can see it's Cafe 7.18. That's the one with, that we just finished downloading. So we can go ahead and close out of that, go back to our bottle. And then here, we're gonna go to preferences and we're gonna scroll down to system and find runner components. And we're gonna switch the runner to cafe 7.18, which is what we just downloaded. All right, after that, we'll go to installers. And from here, we're gonna install Blizzard Battle.net. You can also see here that it has the EA launcher that you can play on, um, Epic Game Store. I haven't tried any of the other ones yet, but I might go ahead and try those as well. But we're just gonna install Battle.net first. And it'll be interesting to know if the other games on Battle.net like Call of Duty will work with this same method. I'll be testing that out as well. So here we just sign in and we follow the normal procedures for installing and setting up Battle.net. So I'll go ahead and sign in. And then I I've signed in now and now we're going to install Overwatch. Let's go. 
All right, so the game is done downloading now. We're gonna just click on play and test it, make sure it launches. And then we're going to uh, add bottles to Steam as a non-Steam game. And then we're gonna head on over to gaming mode. All right, so looks like it's launching. Success, all right. Wow, look at that queue, 600 players ahead of you. All right, so we're gonna head back on over to, or we're gonna install it in Steam as a non-Steam game, or add it to Steam as a non-Steam game. All right. All right, before we close out, we'll just scroll down, make sure that we can see it in the list. And there it is right there. All right, now we'll head it back over to Steam OS gaming mode, and then we'll launch it here. Now, when you first try to open the game in gaming mode, it might appear like it's not gonna open. It took a, first, it took a, a while the first time, but it did eventually open. So just give it a minute, It'd be a little patient and it should open for you. But at first I thought it wasn't working in gaming mode. It launches fine in desktop mode, but it, it kind of looked like it wasn't gonna open. See right here, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't just open right away. So just give it a minute and it should open for you. And when you first get the game open, the frame rate is gonna be really low. I mean like below 10 is it's probably downloading some shaders. So you just gotta give it a minute and then it should stabilize here. You can see we're at 60. And now we're in a game. And game appears to be running pretty smoothly here, getting about 60 FPS on medium settings. Now, if you do encounter any kind of stuttering, it could be that the game is still downloading the shaders, but it should run pretty smooth for you. We're running this game off of an SD card. All of our Steam OS games are on an SD card, so.
right guys there it is overwatch 2 on steam os i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did leave a like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace